So this is the current state of our driveway. So I just went to start the backhoe and the battery's dead. We just keep having stuff happen where we can't move forward. Good morning. Today we're gonna to try to take the yokes to Maine and see if we can get, uh, or at least get one yoke installed in the trees, uh, hopefully this weekend. So I've gotta gather up a few tools and then uh, we'll be headed on our way. We need kind of a giant, I think it's a Forstner bit uh, for the tab for the boss. That's what they call the big thick part of the tab is the boss. This is for that. Actually gonna need some drill bits uh, to install the tabs in the tree. Three quarter inch lag bolts. For the drill bit, I typically take uh, half the diameter of the bolt, so in this case, I need a 3 8 drill bit. Of course, I can't find my 3 8 drill bit, so we'll probably pick one of those up on the way up. And we can't forget the two tabs. We have a tab for the upper part of the yoke, and then a tab for the bottom. Inch drill bit. Oh, almost forgot the, the two nuts for the two tabs. Instructions, can't forget those. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you've seen our first video of installing tabs, but they're, they're brutal, so I'm gonna bring this four foot pipe wrench. It should make life a lot easier. There, just to help the tabs go in the tree a little easier, I'm going to take a little paste wax. You hit my car. Game over. You're about to hit my car. Woo! Another chance. All right, we have to tie this thing in here. So we made it to the property in Maine, but unfortunately, the, the culvert's still missing, so we don't have a driveway. So we can't get the truck out of here. So I just went to start the backhoe, and the battery's dead. So as a last resort, I'm going to go start the bulldozer, bring that out, and we'll just carry the post and beam out with that thing. All right, fingers crossed this thing starts. So this is what happens when you get to your property and the battery, oh, don't mind the dog, he's pulling my arm. The battery on our tractor is dead. So we're gonna use a bulldozer to unload our beam yoke that Paul did at the house uh, earlier. So this is, should be interesting and slightly overkill, I think, but whatever. It's what we got, it's what we're gonna use. Jimmy just said, I don't want to forget about Dinky. I don't know how many people remember that one. Nice light. Come on, buddy. 
All right, don't forget Dinky. <laughs> Tied to the back of the bulldozer. Well, that was perfect timing. Hey, Murray, you gonna leave that tree there now so you can get in the truck? Come on. Come on, Murray. Come on. Let's go. Out there. Come on. It is a gorgeous August morning in Brownfield, Maine. The sun is shining. It's like 60 degrees. It's not humid. It's almost a perfect summer day right now. So we're using the bulldozer again because we can't get the tractor going to unload our little annoying things that we need at, uh, at the treehouse. So there's Paul and I get to carry Murray with a weird grocery bag and some of our water. And uh, hopefully we can get some stuff done today because uh, we're a little, we got up early, we got here early and we just keep having stuff happen where we can't move forward. So here's hoping it changes for the better. Cause it is a stunner of a day. And there's my Murray hanging out. And you can hear Paul rumbling in the distance with our very, very slow giant wagon. <laughs> so, oh God. Thank goodness the boys and their toys. Cause that would have been painful lugging ladders and tabs and everything else up here. All right, we'll just use the bulldozer to bring all our tools and tabs and treehouse parts and cooler and cameras and dog food, everything else out. Probably the most expensive trip ever. Probably spent $5 in diesel to get this stuff out of here, but yeah, unfortunately the battery terminals on the tractor are shot. So we've got to, I've got to order a new cable probably this week. So unfortunately it's always, it always seems like one tractor's out of commission. So we'll unload this and hopefully maybe start installing a yoke today. We need some water. Buddy. <laughs> Should I put it on the track? Well, I can put it up by his food if you want. Oh, here, here. God, he's so thirsty. Probably was thirsty. There's the treehouse, or well, the platform for the treehouse. And here are the two trees, or three trees. We want to put our yokes in. This one leans quite a bit to the left. So we're thinking about putting a tab, uh, the bottom tab on this side, and then the top tab on this side. Are you gonna help with the ladder? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna try. The only get way to get him not to bark is to have him be right next to us. We can tell that Paul doesn't work for OSHA. Right there, that looks. Yeah. That's that's, that's not suspect at all. I'm sure he's fine though. His insurance. I'm pulling it from here to the top of the platform. It looks like. Oh, <laughs> you put that board back under my ladder. <laughs> sure. What you got with that, Paul? Level and a, my makeshift plumb bob. There we go. Sample. Okay, so what are we doing again? Where are you? Um, well, since it's a bridge, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball the top of the platform and level it that way. Uh, uh, dun, 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 dun. As soon as the top of the joist kind of disappear, that's level, so wherever my eyes are, right about here. <laughs> uh -huh. That look good? That, you know what, that seems like, engineering-wise, brilliant. Seems to make sense, right? Oh yeah, dead on. 
Maybe we should hire you out so you can help build bridges across this great nation. <laughs> Bridge builder. Using your eyeballs. Yeah. I got good eyeballs. <laughs> good eyeballs. I mean, the bridge will pick up slack, right? I hope so. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be kind of bendy, right? Bouncy. Kind of bendy, yeah. Ouch. It looks a little bendy. Oh, that's deceiving. I think that goes straight downhill. trying to figure out where this yoke is gonna hang on this tree because we think it has to one tab has to be on the left side and then the bottom tab has to be on the right side because it kind of goes out in a very strong v away from the other tree which is this tree yeah. straight up and down this one's like whoop up the side we're moving staging again because it's been so long i hate setting up staging all right, so we have to figure out where to put the tab on the tree. So at the top, we've got five quarter inch decking, which is actually an inch, right? Below that, we have a two by 10, which is actually nine and a quarter. What's below that? We have this beam, which is a six by eight. So that's seven and a quarter. This is a quarter, not a half. Three quarters of an inch. Diameter of this opening, which in a quarter, half of that's five eighths. So uh, we almost forgot to use all that uh, fraction adding we did to subtract off from the site leveling. So now Paul's lowering down, I think, yep. his More starting inches. point for the That's tree right. tab. Yeah, 18 inches. About 18 inches. Little adjustment, error caught ahead of time, which is nice for a change. That looks like such an awkward stance. Super awkward. Well, we're doing nice. the big bit. The big bit. All right, here we go. Big bit. Big bit going in. This one hurts. Ooh. Careful. I think the tree's fighting back. I think it is. How deep does it have to go? Huh? How deep? Um, I'm gonna go about three quarters of the length of that cross, so probably uh, three inches maybe? Okay, four inches? Yeah, the... And then maybe inch and a half? Alright, so there it is. Three and a half on the bottom and about three inches in the top so that's half the boss in there that should be good how not to open a paste wax can there you go yep got the screwdriver there you go that's a good idea <laughs> actually i don't know if it'll work or not but it's kind of rusty too i've been sitting in my truck for so long We're gonna try a little baby pipe wrench first, maybe for a little bit, and then we'll break out the big guns again. Well, this makes life easier. <gasps> oh, wow. And the last turn. There, that's it. She's in. That's in. Hallelujah. 